Holy crime-fighting, Batman. Dick Grayson, a.k.a. Robin, made his debut in Detective Comics issue number 38 in 1940, created by the talented team of Bill Finger and Bob Kane, who were the masterminds behind Batman. The introduction of Robin was a deliberate effort to captivate a younger audience and broaden the appeal of the Dark Knight. Inspired by the iconic figure of Robin Hood, the character was given the moniker Robin the Boy Wonder and donned a medieval-inspired costume. We are all acquainted with the tale of Dick breaking free from Batman's shadow and forging his own legacy as Nightwing. However, what remained shrouded in ambiguity was the period between his departure as Robin and his emergence as Nightwing. In the Bruce Tim verse of Batman, this untold story was explored in the tie-in comic titled The Batman Adventures, The Lost Years, which was published in 1998. It delves into the events that unfolded between Batman, the animated series, and the new Batman Adventures. So Robins, without further ado, let's jump in and explore those years. But before we begin, we have a small request. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel. It is a small click for you, but it means a lot to us. Thank you. Hi, son. It's time. Dick was born on the first day of spring and was the son of John Grayson and Mary Grayson, a young aerialist couple. All of them worked at Haley's Circus and were featured as the Flying Graysons in their daring trapeze act. Clad in bright red, yellow, and green, they were one of the main attractions of the circus as they did their trapeze act without any safety net, playing with death every day. One day, while getting ready for a show, Dick overheard two gangsters attempting to extort protection money from the circus owner, Mr. Haley. The gangsters were sent by the Gotham crime boss, Tony Zuko. When Mr. Haley refused, the gangsters resorted to sabotage by tampering with the trapeze wires using acid. During the next performance, the trapeze on which Dick's parents were swinging snapped, plunging them to their deaths. Good Dad, Bat Dad. Before he could approach the police, Batman appeared to him, cautioning that the two gangsters were working for Tony Zuko, a powerful crime boss. Batman warned Dick that revealing his knowledge could result in his own demise. Drawing from his own personal experience of losing his parents, Batman saw an opportunity to direct Dick's anger and rage towards fighting crime. This forged a deep understanding between the two. After undergoing rigorous training, Dick took up the moniker of Robin and joined Batman as a partner. Together, he and Batman began disrupting Zuko's gambling and extortion rackets. They devised a successful plan to provoke Zuko's anger and lure him to a construction site where they ultimately captured him, bringing him to justice. Robin shared a thematic connection with Batman, as both had witnessed the tragic loss of their parents at the hands of criminals. This common experience fueled their determination to combat the criminal element and solidified their bond as mentor and protege, as well as a father and son. The golden era of the father-son duo. For fans worldwide, Batman and Robin will forever be an iconic duo, representing the epitome of a father-son relationship. While most fathers engage in activities like baseball games or fishing trips with their son, Batman took Robin on nightly crime-fighting escapades, leaping across buildings and swinging from ropes. Isn't he the coolest dad? It was later unveiled during Grant Morrison's Batman series that prior to Robin's arrival, Batman's relentless war on crime was pushing him towards self-destruction. As a billionaire orphan dressed as a bat, he resorted to brutalizing criminals, resulting in a gradual psychological deterioration. His once flickering hope was extinguished leaving only darkness in its wake. However, when Robin, adorned in vibrant color, joined Batman after a considerable time, a remarkable transformation occurred. Batman began to smile once again, and so started their adventure that would go on for age. The dynamic duo, the caped crusader and his teenage sidekick, Batman and Robin forever. But little did they know that their paths would eventually diverge, and a darker era loomed ahead. The Growing Pains Robin, Batman's first adopted son, had consistently regarded Batman as a paternal figure valuing his guidance and heeding every word uttered by the Caped Crusader. He embraced Batman's guidance wholeheartedly, attentively listening to every piece of advice and faithfully following every command uttered by the Dark Knight. But as Robin matured, he began to scrutinize Batman's choices and approach. Batman, renowned for his unyielding dedication and adherence to justice, employed his stern rhetoric to set Robin on the right path. Unfortunately, a seed of antipathy had already taken root in Robin's heart. His disillusionment stemmed from a growing realization that Batman's methods might not be infallible or the sole path towards achieving their shared goals. As Robin began to question the moral implications of their crime-fighting strategies, the sense of resentment towards Batman started to fester more, overshadowing the once cherished bond between them. Despite the deep-rooted respect Robin held for Batman, their relationship had reached a crossroads where Robin's own values and beliefs could no longer be ignored. 
the simmering complications. During a usual night of patrolling, Batman and Robin found themselves confronting a gang of bank robbers within an underground tunnel. Robin was already seething with anger, having been dismissed by Batman earlier, which led to his disregard for direct orders from the Dark Knight. Ignoring caution, he recklessly pursued an armed robber, only to fall into an ambush. His life hung by a thread. But salvation arrived in the form of Batgirl, who swiftly incapacitated the assailant. Grateful for Batgirl's intervention, Batman expressed his thanks triggering an outburst of embarrassment and jealousy from Robin, who reached new heights when Batman acknowledged Batgirl's earned respect, exacerbating his feelings of inadequacy. Meanwhile, Dick was having an affair with Barbara, who was secretly Batgirl, and planned to be with her. The complex web of relationships between the three individuals added fuel to the fire of Robin's growing animosity. Unaware of Barbara's dual role, both Bruce and Dick remained oblivious to the underlying tensions brewing beneath the surface. The Fault Line when Batman received a tip about the Joker, he interrupted Dick's date with Barbara and summoned him to join him. Together, they set out to ambush the Joker and his gang. However, when the Joker escaped, Batman pursued one of his henchmen, named Jimmy. Jimmy sought refuge in his own home and attempted to hide. Batman forcefully entered the house by breaking through a window and seized Jimmy by his jacket, hoisting him high into the air while angrily interrogating him about the Joker. Unfortunately, Jimmy's wife and their playful young child were present and became terrified. Robin tried to reason with Batman, reminding him that Jimmy's family was there, but Batman dismissed his concerns, emphasizing the importance of obtaining answers quickly. This questionable action caused Robin's faith and respect for Batman to waver. With a heavy heart filled with disrespect and mistrust, Robin left the scene. The Self-Realization After Robin's departure, Batgirl located Batman, and they joined forces to tackle the Joker's case. Surprisingly, Batman disclosed their secret identities to her. Meanwhile, the Joker managed to acquire a radar disruptor and issued a threat to unleash it, causing chaos by disrupting radar signals across the wider Gotham area and endangering airplane flights. Unless he received a ransom of $40 million, desperate to find a solution, Batman and Alfred attempted to contact Dick, but his disgust towards Batman led him to discard his phone into the river. However, destiny intervened when Dick found himself stopping a mugging incident. Engaged in a fight, he tore his civilian attire and his anger intensified. Although he subdued the assailants, he came dangerously close to harming the very person he was trying to save. Recognizing the need for self-control, Dick made a firm decision never to lose his temper again and opted for a normal life, determined not to become like Batman. When he arrived at Wayne Manor to share his choices with everyone, he discovered that Bruce and Barbara had already departed to confront the Joker. In the futility of it all, prompted by Alfred's advice, Dick hurried to the crime scene in his Robin persona where Batman and Batgirl were engaged in a fierce battle against the Joker and his gang. Intent on carrying out their nefarious plans, Robin intervened just in time to save Batgirl from a perilous fall and assisted Batman in subduing the Joker. Later, on a nearby rooftop, Robin confronted Batgirl and Batman, his anger resurfacing as he felt marginalized by Barbara's decision to share her secrets with Bruce and work alongside him. Driven by his deep resentment towards Batman's methods, Robin held him accountable for placing Barbara's life in danger. Barbara explained that she volunteered willingly, but Robin insisted that Batman was a skilled manipulator, leading her to believe that assisting him was her own choice. He lashed out at Batman, vehemently declaring his resignation. Despite Batman's attempts to engage in dialogue, Robin retaliated by throwing a punch. Dick removed his mask and cape and stormed off. Determined to sever ties with his Robin persona, Dick discarded his costume in the Batcave and vowed never to wear it again as its colors were for a child to wear. He liquidated his circus trust fund, embarking on a personal journey of self-discovery. Behind him, his heartbroken father silently and secretly bid him farewell, wishing him luck in his departure. The Quest for Invisibility Embarking on a personal odyssey, Dick went on a journey that took him to the border of northern China and Mongolia, where he sought to learn the art of Tai Chi from the renowned master Ling Chao. Afterward, he ventured to Sao Paulo, Brazil, assuming the guise of John Smith to train alongside a group of capoeirista martial artists. Once his training there was complete, he set his sights on Santo de la Rosa, driven by the desire to acquire the stealth and combat techniques of the enigmatic invisible tribe. He was provided with a ghost mask to partake in the festival of death. However, fate intervened when he discovered that Two-Face had also arrived, orchestrating plans to establish a drug enterprise from a factory nestled within the heart of the rainforest. As Two-Face and his henchmen proceeded to the factory, Dick shadowed their movements, concealed within the ghostly attire. Regrettably, he was spotted by Two-Face's men, prompting a desperate chase. In the midst of the pursuit, 
Dick fortuitously encountered the Invisible Tribe, who utilized their abilities to render him invisible, thus safeguarding him from the clutches of Two-Face's gang. The Becoming Forging a connection with the tribesmen, he dedicated two months to their tutelage, honing his skills in stealth and combat. However, he realized that the power of invisibility could only be acquired from birth, leaving him unable to fully grasp that particular skill. Nonetheless, he adopted the bird symbol of the invisible tribesman, which later became the emblem of his Nightwing persona. Donning his ghostly attire adorned with the Nightwing insignia, he set out to put his newfound stealth abilities to the test and thwart the machinations of Two-Face. Harnessing his acquired abilities, Dick orchestrated a flood that swept away the illicit drugs. Employing his newly honed skills, he swiftly neutralized Two-Face's entire gang, although Two-Face himself managed to elude capture. Subsequently, Dick's journey led him to Tibet, where he pursued further mastery in his pursuit of martial prowess. He chose to retain the costume he had utilized during his encounters, but symbolically let go of the mask by burning it. A year had elapsed since Dick departed from Gotham, and as he contemplated his next steps, a sorrowful father, filled with longing, yearned for his presence from a distant corner of the world. The Replacement On the fateful night when Robin helped Batman and Batgirl apprehend Joker, under the cover of darkness, a young observer named Tim Drake watched from a distance. Enthralled by the incredible feats and acrobatics of the crime-fighting duo, Tim found himself deeply inspired and began to emulate their actions. Serendipity struck when he stumbled upon a discarded Batarang at the scene of the crime, which he held dear, even cradling it as he slept. He even courageously intervened to save an innocent child from a menacing gang of bullies. Unfortunately, his father, Stephen Shifty Drake, worked as a hired thug for Two-Face and strongly disapproved of Tim's admiration for Batman. Nonetheless, despite his criminal occupation, Stephen was a loving father. When Stephen abruptly left town, Tim found himself resorting to theft to survive, considering it an exhilarating adventure. One eventful day, while attempting to escape with a police officer's donut, Tim unexpectedly encountered Two-Face and his thug. They had come in search of Steven at his residence, believing he had betrayed them. In a callous twist, Two-Face ordered his henchmen to kill Tim. However, Batman intervened, sustaining severe injuries in the process. Tim, displaying remarkable bravery, managed to rescue Batman and transported him to the Batcave using the Batboat. It was there that Tim learned the truth about Batman's secret identity. In a heartbreaking revelation, Batman discovered that Tim's father had already been slain. Moved by the boy's circumstances, Batman extended his empathy and offered Dick's old room as a place for Tim to stay. However, the threat of Two-Face loomed once more as he menaced Gotham City, vowing to release a neurotic agent capable of causing mass casualties unless he received a ransom of $22 million. Tim, possessing valuable information, led Batman to the old Janus Theater where his father had once collaborated with Two-Face. Though Tim yearned to accompany them on this dangerous mission, Batman firmly refused, leaving Tim behind while he and Batgirl set out to thwart Two-Face's plans. The shoes that had to fit. As Batman and Batgirl set off, Alfred gently reminded Tim of how Dick used to feel when Batman left him behind during missions. The subtle suggestion served as a catalyst, prompting Tim to don Dick's old Robin attire and secretly follow them. Just as Batman and Batgirl were strategizing their assault on Two-Face, Tim unexpectedly intervened, only to be swiftly apprehended by Two-Face himself. However, Batman swiftly came onto the scene, overpowering Two-Face and his henchmen. With Tim now freed, he eagerly joined Batman in the fight while Batgirl worked diligently to deactivate the neurotic agent. Upon their return to the Batcave, Bruce sternly advised Tim against wearing the Robin costume. He emphasized that it had to be earned. Determined to help Tim become a worthy successor, Bruce decided to personally train him. Overjoyed by this opportunity, Tim clutched the cherished Batarang, feeling a sense of contentment as he settled into bed, sleeping soundly like a contented child. The Art of Balance As Batman dedicated his time to training Tim, preparing him to assume the role of Robin, Nearly 850 days had passed since Dick's departure from Gotham. In his personal journey, Dick found himself in Mindalaki, where he sought guidance from the esteemed master Hedalai. Under Hedalai's tutelage, Dick delved into the profound teachings of combat known as Ya and Tenya, representing the principles of yin and yang. While honing his skills, Dick realized he had grown too reliant on his stealth abilities. Through his training, he discovered how to confront invisible adversaries without possessing the power of invisibility himself. Assuming the identity of Joan, he learned to harness his unnamed senses and triumph over his opponents without relying on sight alone. Hedalai not only imparted combat prowess, but also instilled wisdom and taught Dick the importance of life's delicate balance. After seeking Hedalai's permission to continue his journey, Dick ventured to the Himalayas in pursuit of a secretive order of mystics who had unlocked the secrets of a unique fighting technique. 
flying back home. During his expedition in the Himalayas, Dick persevered in his quest to locate the reclusive hermit monks. Engaging the services of a Sherpa, he joined a group of individuals venturing towards the summit where the monastery was rumored to be situated. However, to his astonishment, Dick discovered that the people he accompanied had been hired by Raz al Ghul, dispatched with the intention of pilfering a revered statue known as the Spirit of the Eternal. Undeterred, Dick and the Sherpa valiantly attempted to thwart the thieves. Sadly, their efforts proved futile as Dick was overpowered and cast down the treacherous slopes of the mountain. Miraculously, thanks to the teachings he had received from Masters Hedalai, Chin, Voldani, and Ling Chao, Dick survived the fall, albeit buried beneath a blanket of snow. His rescue came in the form of a masked hermit monk who informed him that the thugs had already infiltrated the monastery and coveted the precious statue. In a gesture of trust and empowerment, the monk bestowed upon Dick a flying pack and a distinctive costume enabling him to return to Gotham and retrieve the stolen spirit of the Eternal on their behalf. Thus, after a grueling absence of nearly three years, Dick made his way back to his hometown. Donning the costume gifted by the monk, adorned with the symbolic bird insignia, he set forth on his mission to reclaim what had been wrongfully taken. Love, lost, and found. Dick executed a successful ambush on Raz and his henchmen, utilizing his newly acquired skills to seize the coveted spirit statue from Raz's clutches. As he departed the scene with the recovered artifact, he couldn't resist taunting Raz to retreat and abandon his nefarious pursuits. However, in that moment, as he gazed upon the Gotham skyline, Dick experienced a profound realization. He yearned to return home. He had achieved inner peace and felt an undeniable pull back to where he truly belonged. Transformed into a better version of himself, exuding composure, wisdom, and a newfound sense of humor, Dick made an unannounced entrance into the Batcave. Bruce, Barbara, and Tim were in the midst of a training session when they were taken aback by his remarkable transformation. Alfred, in particular, was astounded by the changes he witnessed. Their reunion, though brief, was interrupted by the illuminating bat signal in the night sky. Tim offered Dick his Robin costume, intending to restore him to his former role, but Dick had already prepared for this moment. He donned a brand new costume that symbolized the experiences he had amassed throughout the years he was absent. Embracing his transformed identity, he announced his new name to the world, Nightwing. The father becomes the son, the son, the father. Although the reconciliation between Bruce and Dick was brief, it reflected the natural dynamics that should exist between fathers and sons. Dick remained hopeful that he could mend his relationship with Barbara, who initially greeted him with a cold shoulder upon his return. As a mature individual, Dick became an inspirational figure for Tim, who began to regard him as both a mentor and an older brother. However, the true resolution of their bonds unfolded gradually over the course of subsequent Batman adventures, as Nightwing found his rightful place within the Bat Family. As the saying goes, the Bat Family that fights crime together stays together. Marvelous verdict. That's it for today, my Robins. With that, Dick Grayson's three-year odyssey reached its culmination, marking the beginning of a new chapter in his life. Rest assured that if ever any other story from these lost years is unearthed, we will be back to tell you that in our own marvelous way. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Keep liking, sharing, and subscribing. Until we meet again, same bat time, same bat channel.